Uh, D4R2 is a um, very popular uh, receiver that is used on many mini quads. Um, we usually use it um, setting up um, as a PPM receiver and then this uh, four channel receiver becomes eight channel receiver but to be able to utilize old eight channels uh, we have to um, update firmware on it which is available on um, FR Sky uh, website. Um, to do this um, I use a simple FTDI tool and um, to, you can also buy a, a ready-made tool um, from FR Sky um, but since I've got this it's a, it's a really no-brainer you basically use what you've got uh, to do this you need to you need to make uh, some cables for that um, this is a cable that comes with a receiver I just uh, took out one of the um, wires connects to the side and then we've got um, RX, TX and a ground and this will be connected to our FTDI uh, tool. I also made, um, made a, a power for this so we're gonna use um, 5 volt from our FTDI um, to get into a programming mode you have to put um, a jumper uh, between uh, channel 1 and 2 on a signal and then we can connect this um, to our receiver that way I'm sorry, not that way. That way, so we've got ground, 5 volt, and this goes to our FTDI. And on the FTDI we've got obviously 5 volt and ground. And then we've got ground ground TX and RX to be able to program a fast sky with our FTDI we will have to um, change uh, behavior of it uh, to do that you need to download yourself <coughs> a program that is called FTProg And we will be able to um, change uh, the behavior of of our um, FTDI tool. Um, simply connect via USB or FTDI. Um, <clears throat> when the hardware is found, obviously, uh, then you go to devices, scan. Not yet. Devices scan. Now we've got um, <clears throat> our FTDI scanned. What we have to do is go to uh, hardware specifics and invert signals. And we invert signals on. TX and RX so basically make sure that you've got those two checked because normally that's the normally how you connect um, your FTDI you just need to make sure that those values are checked okay then you go to devices devices program uh, that little pop-up program it will take a second or two <clears throat> and then you close it. I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I already have done it so um, and then you just close it.
Okay. So I have downloaded my um, firmware. That's the firmware uh, from FRSky. All you have to do is just launch this. Okay. <clears throat> and there is a little thing. Um, it will show you where the FTDI is um, connected. But if we connect um, our receiver to FTDI at the moment, uh, we won't be able to actually um, flash it. Okay, it says um, file not available. Click file, then you've got um, this file with update open. Oh no, actually it did connect. You'll be only able to flash this um, when you see this uh, UID number. Uh, if it's not going to show um, over here, you won't be able to flash it. <coughs> so. Let's flash it. Let's download then and see what happens. So it's downloading nicely. It's done. And so now this receiver is flashed with a 27 uh, millisecond uh, version of firmware and we will be able to um, easily use um, all eight channels on the receiver. Uh, now we can disconnect all of it. Uh, we can go to our FT proc again. Devices scan um, hardware specific invert, and we can invert to a normal function. This device program program finished close and now we've got um, set up as as factory um, our FTDA so that's it basically